which you and I can use. So uh, it's all about uh, the utility factor. We spoke to a lot of these people right here. And I'm telling you, the Tiagrad Stadium is once again lit up by that magnificence of Robocon 2024. A uh, fantastic setting, uh, let me tell you. And for, this, uh, for those of you uh, who are wondering what this is, about robots competing. In about 10 seconds, the third quarter final is going to be there. 46 teams, 800 plus participants. And now we are on to the final eight. The top four are going to be playing into the semifinals. And that is a match going on which is the third quarterfinals, Marathwada, Mitra Mandal College of Engineering in the blue corner. And then we have Pimpri, Chinchuad College of Engineering, Pune in the red corner. Those are our ones, Runa's robot ones, which are manually tracked. And uh, they're going to be using the concept of agriculture, where these robots are going to plant seedlings. And for every seedling, they're going to plant in the designated area, they get 10 point seeds. So you can see in the red corner, already seven of them have been planted. They have the 70 points to their kitty. And that robot is working extremely well on the blue corner as well. And that is uh, the Government College of Engineering from uh, Pune. And they're doing pretty well. And they can get in around, uh, uh, you know, 12 of these points, which are there up for grabs. And one minute and 57 seconds still left on the clock and you've got all uh, the uh, seedlings for the blue corner in the first place and there you see which is the first time in robocon history you've got an automated robot no manual controlling happening simultaneously so these bots are working by themselves they have to collect these balls from the blue space putting into the Cylons and for each of the ones that they get inside the Cylon they will get 30 points and they're going to be two balls already for the blue corner there R1 is working feverishly high you can see that excitement in the air it's absolutely palpable and you can absolutely see the balls being thrown for every ball thrown Sakshi they get 10 points more into their kitty Yes, of course, and I'm going to be requesting also some of the people uh, who are standing in front of us to kindly move so that we can watch the game also. But coming quickly back to the game over here, it looks like a good solid game that is happening right now between both the teams. How I assess it from here, both the red and the blue teams have been able to plant all the seedlings into the right spots. And now the robots are there in the second zone, throwing the balls where they can get the maximum number of points. The blue team out there, we see the robot has to be moved out some sort of a situation they're getting it back precious seconds being lost over there but the red team's robot over there so jay moving effortlessly and smoothly making those shots and trying to get the balls within the holders in fact the blue team has already been able to get a ball inside one of the holder which gets them crucial points and the second one also is there that's important those are very very big points that come into the kitty but red also no more far behind, getting one more ball out there. It's getting heated up over here, Sujay. It could be anyone's game from here. Oh, well, three valuable balls into the silos. That's going to be 90 points for the blue team. And that's going to be an advantage to Pimpri Chinchwad College of Engineering, Pune. What a solid competition. Marathwada Mitra Mandal College of Engineering is struggling, in fact, because a little bit of a mechanical error that really did happen. They did manage to get one there. Those are the automators right there. Those are the sponsors because, you know, it's close to around lakhs and lakhs of money that these colleges have to get together to fund their programs of robotics. So it's very important. And you can see right there, Team Automatons. And they're doing pretty well. But uh, this is the second last quarterfinal. And after this, it's going to be the team which is go, which is the team to be rooting for, the best team to qualify for the quarterfinals with more than 200 odd points is the Institute of Technology Nirma University, which last year for uh, Sakshi, you remember, last year they just missed that hat trick of uh, titles that they had, so. Uh, that's them on the screens there. Look at that thing, the bot coming right there. Let me tell you all that this is not controlled by a human being. The program has been written.
but unfortunately for them that ball just toppled over and that you see the blue corner the robot number one shuttling between the balls supplying those 12 balls that you can see and each of the balls supplied is 10 points each and this is where the game really settles in this is r2 the automated bot trying to work